work on the world's biggest hydroelectric dam is planned to start in October 2015 in which of the following countries? Okay, work on the world's biggest hydroelectric dam is planned to start in October 2015 in which of the following countries? Right, you, uh, you might kind of assume the answer to be China since uh, it has been in the news recently for building a lot of dams. So the right answer to this question is Congo. Okay, the right answer to this question is Democratic Republic of Congo. Plastic hydroelectric dam is planned to uh, start in October 2015 in this country. Okay, uh, since we are talking about Congo, let's see how many can answer this. Okay, uh, can someone tell me uh, what is the former name of Congo? Can anyone tell me the former name of Congo? Congo of what is known as Democratic Republic of Congo? Anyone? It's Zaire. Z i e r e. Zaire used to be the previous name of Democratic Republic of Congo, right? And Congo also happens to be a name of a river in Africa. Congo also happens to be the name of a river in uh, Africa. And in fact, after Amazon, it has the second largest basin in the world. Like uh, when it comes to length, right? We all know Nile is the longest river. But when it comes to the area under which uh, the volume of the basin, the area of the basin in which the river flows, Amazon is the biggest, right? When it comes to the area, uh, the area, the basin area, right? Amazon is the biggest river, and the second river in terms of uh, the area, the bay, uh, the river basin, it's Congo. Okay. Zaire, that's right. I didn't see the answer. It's in fact, Zaire. Yes, it's a musical instrument too. Thank you, Shishan. Bongo drums. Right? That's bongo drums. Now, uh, let's look at this question. Uh, I don't think there's a specific name for, for that. The mountain range is at the bottom of the ocean. I'll look into this and let you know. Okay, now let's look at this question. Maria Jason of Kerala created a new meet record in the 10th National Youth Athletic Championship at Guntur. She belongs to which of the following sports? Right? Maria Jason of Kerala, she has recently created a new national record, sorry, meet record in the 10th National Youth Athletic Championship that was held in Guntur. The question is, in to which sport does she belong to? Is it pole vault? Is it hurdle? Is it discus throw? Okay, the right answer to this question is in fact pole pole vault. Okay, Maria Jason, she has created a new record in pole vault. Okay, now okay. who? Uh, what is which sports? Uh, which sportsman do you person do you would you would you think of when you hear the word pole vault for the first time? Pole vault jumper, right? Sergi Buka, that's right. Siraj, Sergi Buka, he was known to have, like, you know, smash his own record over and over again, right? Sergi Buka, in fact, he holds a lot of records in, in pole vault, right? Okay, Jashank, it's, uh, the name of the person is Sergi Buka. I think he's from, uh, he's an Ukrainian, I guess. He's known to have broken his own record, I think some 15, 20 times. And that also happens to be a record. Okay. Now, moving on to the next question. Okay. Which among the following, sorry, uh, which among the following PSUs which was, were granted Maharatna status by the union government in February 2013. Which among the following PSUs, 
were granted which among the following PSUs were granted Maharatna status Bengal government in February 2013. Is it Sail and Gale or is it Gale and Bell? Right? Or is it Bell and Gale or is it NTPC and ONGC? Okay, let's uh, you need to identify which among the following PSUs have been awarded Maharatna status in 2013 February. And the right answer to this question is L and Gale, BSEL and GAIL. Okay. The right answer is C. Okay. Uh, is my voice audible now? There seems to be certain issue. Uh, some people are not able to hear me. Okay. Please let me know just in case uh, if it's not clear. Okay. And the right answer to this question is C. B H E L and G I L, right? Okay. Moving on to the next question. India has said to set up a joint working group to address the concerns of expatriate Indian workers on the Nitakat law with which of the following countries? Which of the following countries? Sorry, uh, India, with which of the following countries has India set up? Oh, okay, we have a question here regarding uh, uh, Maharatna status. Maharatna status is uh, basically given by government. Uh, if you, if, if any of those uh, organizations awarded Maharatna status, it will uh, have more, a higher degree of autonomy, right, and better uh, pay for the government, right? So basically, if, if any of, any of these government organizations, PSUs, right, public sector units, if they're awarded Maharatna status, it means uh, it's good on two terms. First thing, like uh, the degree of autonomy increases, right? They can uh, take decision independent of the government, and the other other way would have delayed. Okay. Okay. Coming to the current question, yeah, this has been answered uh, news recently, and. The uh, answer to this, uh, right answer to this question is Saudi Arabia. So Saudi Arabia, uh, uh, basically in Saudi Arabia recently a law has been passed. The consequence, the consequence of this would be, like you know, uh, deporting all those, uh, all those, uh, all those workers who who don't have valid papers, right? Uh, the, the, that is Nitakat law. So now one consequence of this would be like since. Uh, since lot, since lot of Indians unskilled labor is present in Saudi Arabia and the Gulf in particular, right? So there is uh, the chance of many, uh, like literally lakhs of people, like you know, being deported to India. So the central government has taken taken up this issue, provide a pro for them to get either registered permanently or come back with grace. Okay. It's, uh, uh, if you want more specific, so I can look on the internet about this thing, Nitakat law. Okay. It's uh, basically company, companies are like, you know, categorized according to, like, you know, they, if a company hires a certain percentage of native Southeast, right, they'll be given, like, let's say if a company has 50% of the employees are uh, native Saudi Arabians, they'll, they'll be given, uh, green status if it's less than 10 percent it's red so the higher the better the higher the percentage of uh, saudi workers the more the perks the government gives there so most of the companies though it uh i keep indian labor actually lowers the operational costs hiring more saudi nationals would mean better aid from the government and tax subsidies okay they have they have a scale of some so five, six colors, red, yellow, green, blue, right? So that's what Nithaka 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 is. Okay. Now.
you all you all seem you doing very well in fact even i am i'm pretty happy to see uh, the level of participation in this session in particular for most of the times most of the guys have got correct answers too okay now we want to the next question final so the uber cup 2014 and thomas cup 14 is to be held at new delhi these cups are related with uber and thomas cup right it's uh, i'll give you a hint china rules the roost when it comes to these uh, uber and thomas cups okay you can understand uh, it's you uh, it's, def it's definitely definitely can't be a tennis tournament because you know the problem uh, about the grand slams right the one in which countries for uh, all the countries compete is the davis cup right so this uber cup is basically associated with badminton that's it right. but one of the one of them is for men and one of them is for women right so i'll just clear it for you the uh, uber cup is for men and thomas cup is for women right so the right answer okay uber and Th thomas cup and if you look at the uh, records to over the past 10 15 years it has always been china for the past 10 years in fact it has always been china that is uh, that has uh, like you know that has a monopoly over this tournament in fact as you see most a lot of shuttlers come from china itself right okay uh, let's get a bit closer to the microphone if it's not audible okay i hope it's clear now let's move on to the next question okay the answer to this question is a men's and women's badminton respectively okay uber cup is uh, awarded for men and thomas cup is for women okay now let's see uh, hamid ansari the vice president of india has recently released a book entitled a leaf turns a low the sufis of our now uh, this book is edited by which among the following is it gulzar is it javed akhtar is it shabana azmi or is it muzaffar hari let's see hamid our current vice right he has re recently released a book title a leaf turns a low it's regarding it's about the sea the sufis of our our region right now uh, the question is which among the following personalities has edited this book okay uh, shashank pande is your right that's right the, the right answer is mulifar ali okay the, the right answer to this question is mujaffar ali okay uh oh uh, excuse me yes like in fact uh, i actually made a mistake i'm sorry about this uh, in the previous question right uh, thomas cup is associated with men i'm really sorry about that uber cup is associated with women in fact uh, if i remember u and w that's how you remember it right uber cup for women i'm really sorry about this thing thomas cup is associated with men and uber cup is associated with women i'm sorry about the mishap and the uh, easier way for you to remember is u uh, uber starts with u right and women w u and w are pretty close by so remember it and thomas as such again sounds like a uh, man's name right so thomas cup is associated with men and uh, uber cup is associated with women okay i'm sorry about this lapse okay in question number 32 so the uh, the right answer would be b okay and remember it's pretty simple actually thomas cup thomas is the name of male right the doubting tom thomas you know if you read the bible so thomas is associated with the men men and uber is associated with women okay the answer to this question is, uh, is muzaffar ali muzaffar ali is a person who has edited this book written by 
Lolita. Okay. Now. Now moving on to the next question. Enrico Letta will be the next Prime Minister of which of the following countries? Enrico Letta will be the Prime, uh, uh, Prime Minister of which of the following countries? Let's see who can answer this. Uh, okay, we, we got a query from Lika. That, that, see, the book was edited by Mr. Mujafar Ali and it was released by Hamid Ansari. Okay, so it's actually Mujafar, Mr. Mujafar Ali who has compiled the book. Okay, let's see. Now, is it Cuba? Is it Venezuela? Is it Italy? Is it Cyprus? This is a bit tricky. Uh, but again, if uh, the name Enrico Letta, right? It's uh, again I, even I would be confused here if I if I didn't know the answer. It sounds a bit Italian to me, and again it sounds it, it, uh, I get a feeling that it's, it's a bit Latin American too. So, and, but the right answer is Italy here. Okay, Enrico Letta is uh, he will be the next Prime Minister of Italy, in fact. Okay. Uh huh. That's great, Shashank Pandey. Okay. And I mean, it's it's uh, it's very interesting today, in fact, right? Most of the time, uh, everyone has been doing very well in this session. It, it, you guys have been like, you know, really up to the mark. You seem to be preparing pretty well. That's really good to see because in most of the sessions I have taken, student participation is good, but most of the time it's, it's more of uh, like, you know, Trial and trial and error sorts, but like you guys seem to be very well prepared. I'm pretty sure you went, you guys are going to crack all the exams. Okay. Now, we go to the next question. Which of the following art form of Lucknow became a full fledged brand after being accorded with a geographical indication recently? Right. This. Uh, According the uh, according to the geographical indication status, it, this this thing is basically uh, done so that if any particular art form, right, a lot of particular art forms of India, we don't actually patent them or like right. So when we actually do this thing, when it's uh, according to the geographical indication status, this uh, like you know the exploitation of these things would stop, right? You know. It's like you know this particular this art form we have uh, we have the patents for that, okay. And <laughs> Tindi kebab no no Siraj the right answer is in fact Lucknow Jatrozi, right? The answer is B in fact. Okay, Lucknow Jatrozi has become full fledged brand after being accorded geographical indication, okay. Now for those who want to know more about Geographical indication. Let me just repeat it again. Okay, it's basically uh, it's used uh, this sign, right? It's uh, any I say I don't like that. When uh, this uh, this actually denotes that from a specific job region or geographical place from which this product originates, right? When a particular product has this tag, it means that it says that, like, you know, this comes with quality, right? And it has this certain characteristics, right? So, no, some other person, right, like, say, now Lucknow, that was equal, no, no one, like, say, someone from Iran, they can't claim to make it, uh, make something else and say, and sell it as Lucknow, that was right? So, that's basically the purpose of it, okay? Because, like, a lot of these, uh, a lot of our traditional art forms and food and all these things, right? they have they uh, they have a flavor associated with the place in which they were made, right? So th this this uh, this is basically an initiative by the government 
for protecting the uh, trademark of the of, of these products. Okay. For example, like French wine is one of those things, right? You can't bottle uh, bottle wine in Nasik and claim it to be French wine because French wine is something that has been made in France. Sorry. Okay. Yes, Shashank, yes. You seem to be very knowledgeable, yes, the right answer. It is very popular in Lucknow, Farukabad, and Chennai. Suing with gold, yes. Okay. Yes, in fact, it's similar to like, you would say, like, you know, Kashmina, Kashmina. It's on similar line, exactly. Okay. Now, uh, moving on to the next question. The Ministry of Housing and Urban Poverty Alleviation. <clears throat> the Ministry of Housing and Urban Poverty Alleviation has proposed to launch the National Urban Livelihoods Mission in its 12th five year plan. Okay. So, uh, Ministry of Housing and Urban Poverty Alleviation has proposed to launch in uh, its certain new uh, program in its 12th five year plan. It also known as it is known as National Urban Livelihoods Mission or NULM. Okay. But the question is, the NULM will replace which of the for, for will replace one of the existing pro, uh, one of the following existing programs? Which one of them is this? Is it JNNURM? Is it NRHM? Is it SJSRY? Or is it MGNREGA? Let's see how many how many can answer this. The right answer to this is in fact SJSRY. Uh, the SJSRY stands for Swarna Jayanti Shahri Rozgar Yojana. Swarna Jayanti Shahri Rozgar Yojana. It's basically a uh, it's a uh, it's one of those poverty elevation schemes. This would be replaced with NULM. That would be National Urban Livelihoods Mission. Right. In fact, they just changed. Uh, it's more of changing the name of it. Earlier, it was a Sanskritized name, Swarna Jayanti Shahari Rozgar, Shahari, for people in the cities. Right. They changed it to National Urban Livelihoods Mission, NULM. Okay. So the right answer is C. Moving on to the next question. Which of the following countries recently launched the latest biosatellite? Which of the following countries recently launched the latest biosatellite? Okay. Abhishek has got the right answer. Let's see what about others. Which of the following countries? Yes, even Kasuri got it right. It's Russia. Russia has been the country which has launched this uh, biosatellite recently. Can anyone tell me what, what a biosatellite is? Anyone can uh, anyone tell me what a biosatellite is? This the uh, that's right. Similar to Laika, yes, in fact, one, the first ever animal to go into space is like uh, a dog, Laika, right? So basically, uh, any of these satellites that are designed to carry organic material, in fact, in particular animals, right? They're called biosatellites. Now, Shashank has shared this inform uh, interesting information with us. It's, it's in fact, Laika is the name of the dog, which, is, uh, which was launched in space for the first time, right? Following after that, uh, Yuri Gagarin went on test flight. Before that, it was Laika. Yes, to learn about the cure for disease, and you would like to see how uh, living organisms respond to space, uh, respond to conditions in space, because ultimately, space is the final frontier. 
maybe if not within our lifetime maybe maybe in a 100 years or so we would be we would soon be colonizing other planets so before that can happen this has to be properly uh, right proper research has to be made like see what are the effects of space what are the effects of staying uh, you know happy right so for this purpose they don't send humans straight away they send this uh, mice and dogs in fact this bio satellite that was launched by russia right it contains certain mice okay acha it's what if it's what way that and i didn't know about that i just knew they they sent some mice but what if i okay hmm. which of the following let's go to the next question eight mongolian jebel shifting geckos okay now which of the following has been listed in the list of top weird and unusual museums in the world which of the following has been listed in the list of top top 10 weird and unusual museums in the world i mean you can take a guess of course all you have to do is like uh, find the odd one find the odd one out delhi hart as you know most of them it's pretty conventional place right and again it's not a grand museum uh, rock garden chandigarh again i don't suppose it's that weird yes yes sridhar the right answer is in fact the sulab international museum of toilets okay i mean puppets museum too i i suppose it's it can't it, it's rare of course but it's not that uncommon but you would rarely find something like right the sulab international museum of toilets okay it's can it's listed in the top 10 weird and unusual museums of the world okay now uh yeah, basically as the name says it has a collection of uh, various kind of toilets all over the world and probably uh, they showcase the, the new upcoming technologies to right the ones without water the moving toilets right now we want to the next question the supreme court of india has dismissed the plea of which among the following terrorists to dismiss to dismiss the death penalty and shift it to life imprisonment this has been in the news recently again this has been in the news again which which of the following persons which of the following persons plea to uh to uh, dismiss the death, death penalty and shift it to life imprisonment has been dismissed Let's see how many can who can answer this thing. Okay. Is it Abu Zundal? Is it Singh Singhbra? Or is it Abu Hamza? Or is it Devinder Pal Singh Gullar? This this has been in the news recently. In fact, it is Devinder Pal Singh Gullar. Right? Okay. Uh, let's see how many can answer this. which uh, there is a certain prisoner okay the answer to this question is d by the way devinder pal bullar can if uh, a certain prisoner had recently used the rti to uh, to ask the president the reason why his plea has been dismissed okay there is this certain prisoner right he has uh, He, uh, he has applied for uh, a pair of mercy uh, mercy uh, petition, right, to the president. But uh, his plea has been rejected, right. So this guy has actually used RTI to send a query on what reasons has the has the has the president rejected my query, okay. Does anyone can anyone give me the answer? Who is what is the name of this prisoner? No, uh, I'm talking about the mercy petition. In fact, not Sanjay. That uh, talk this person has been handled, handled extensively. One of one of these people who was uh, 
involved in Rajiv Gandhi's death, right? His, his name uh, and his name is Perari Valan, right? He has applied for, uh, uh, like, you know, for commuting of his sentence from death sentence to life imprisonment, but the president has rejected his plea. So, this guy, he has actually used the RTI to send a query to the president, like, you know, why, wh what is the reason behind rejecting my mercy petition? Okay? Make a note of it. This person is A.G. Perari Valan. Perari Valan. I'll just spell it for you. Perari Valan. Right? That's the name of this guy. And and one of the, and in fact, this guy, uh, this guy's RS has been highly content, uh, contented for the reason being, there was only circumstantial evidence for handing him the, this uh, sentence. All, uh, all the police, all, all that the cops would find was basically a bill for buying batteries, right? Now, we all know that, like, you know, prop, uh, no one issues, actually issues bill for batteries from a small store, right? That was 15 years back, or 15, in fact, 20 years back, I would be, I would be shocked to like, hear that, like, you know, anyone bothered to actually issue a bill for this Kiran items. But the, the police have actually said that that was the evidence which was used to prove that he was uh, involved in the bomb blast. Uh, I'm sorry about the voice issues, like, uh, let me just... Uh, uh, is it clear now? Uh, I hope the audience is clear now. I just uh, restarted the microphone. Okay. Okay. That's good. Okay. So, uh, the, the question is talking about this. Perry Wallen, he was arrested on the basis of a single bill for batteries which he was supposed to have purchased. Police claimed to have found it in his room three, four days later. So, that was the basis on which they have uh, actually arrested him. It's really the issue. We would never know whether it's true or not, but yes, the court has declared him guilty. Okay? Now, the answer to this question was Devinder Pal Singh Bhullar. Okay? Let's go to the next question. Lalguri Jairaman, famous person who died, uh, who died in Chennai recently, was a famous person. Which of the following instruments? Lalguri Jairam, almost a family, uh, as a household name in, in most of South India, this person, Mr. Lalguri Jairam, right? He, which instrument is he famous with? Which he, with, uh, with which instrument is he associated? Lalguri That's it. Shashank has got it right. It's violin. The right answer to this question is violin. Lalguri Jairaman, he was an acclaimed violin player, right? He so playing the Carnatic tradition. Okay. Now, let's go to the moment. Moving on to the next question. Who among the following tennis star, stars, who among the following tennis stars has topped the list of women tennis players issued by WTA? So basically, uh, in the which among the following, who among the following uh, holds the uh, uh, has the highest seat currently? Which among the following players has the highest ranking, or who is the uh, rank number one player in women among the following? Is it Serena Williams, or is it Maria Sharapova? Or is it Victoria Azarenka or is it Lena? The question is which among the following, I repeat it, which among the following tennis stars has topped the list of women tennis players issued by WTA? Right? The topper is it's in fact Serena Williams. Right? The current topper is Serena Williams. And Maria Sharapova, in fact, is ranked 2. Okay, and Victoria Azarenka is rank 3, right? So, Serena Williams is uh, holds rank number 1. She's got something around 11,000 points, I guess. And 
Maria Sharapova is rank number two. Okay, so the right answer to this question is A. No. Moving on to the next question. Yes, we uh, Lena is fifth seed, I guess. Let's see. I'm not sure. Let me. Uh, I think it's fifth seed. I'm not sure. Or wait, it's no, it's Sara Elani. Yes. Yes, Shashank, you are right. Lena is sixth. Uh, sixth. She uh, her rank is sixth. Serena is the first rank. Maria Sharapova second. Victoria Azarenka is three, and Lena is sixth. Okay. Now moving on to the next question. Let's see how many can answer this. Which of the following Indian states has launched a new scheme named Amma Hastam or, or Mother's Hand to supply nine essential food items to poor at subsidized rates? Which among the following Indian states has launched a new scheme named Amma Hastam to supply nine essential food items to poor at subsidized rates? Now, uh, in fact, I, I really like this question because uh, now, if you apply a little bit of common sense, you would think uh, it has to be Tamil Nadu because Jailalta is all, also known as Amma, right? Amma means mother, right? So you would you would think that okay, Tamil Nadu, but actually the right answer is uh, Andhra Pradesh. Now think about it this way, right? Hastam is uh, is also the uh, all the Hastam is nothing but hand. Is also the uh, symbol of the Congress Party, right? So you you need uh, so basically this scheme has to be launched, must have been launched by by Congress Party uh, in a state where Congress Party is in power, right? This state in which uh, which state is Congress Party in power presently? Of course, Karnataka also is there in power, but Andhra Pradesh, right? Yes, in fact. In Andhra, Andhra Pradesh, this Amma Hastal Mother's Hand has been launched recently. Okay. Uh, see, like, oh, I'll, I'll just repeat it again. What I meant to say is, like, uh, if you go using common sense, you would assume that the answer is Tamil Nadu because Jayalalitha is the current Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, and she and she's also known to be uh, no, called as Amma, right? But but the, uh, the, the answer to this question is Andhra Pradesh, right? The hint is. The hint in this question is this scheme, whatever was launched, so the, whichever government has launched, I'm assuming it has to be Congress because Congress is hand, right? That's uh, right. The symbol of Congress is Hastam, or in fact, hand, right? So it, uh, I kind of get that, like, you know, it had to be scheme launched by, uh, by Congress government, right? So out of the following options, I guess it was Andhra. And and in fact, the right answer is Andhra Pradesh. Okay. Yes, it has been launched pretty recently. Yes. Okay. Let's move on to the next question. This should be a easy question. If for most of those guys who've been watching ads or follow cars, which of the following car makers has launched its sedan Amaze? The following countries has launched its sedan Amaze. That's right. The answer, right answer to this is Honda. Honda Amaze. You might have seen the ad where a bunch of four guys sit together in an office, and one guy talks about how about having eating chips and also losing weight. Right. So it's it's basically uh, considered to be uh, the most fuel efficient cars. Right, it uh, it has been launched only recently. Even before it was released, there's a lot of hype on this on social media and on uh, for a lot of forums on the web. Right, Honda Amaze, the answer. Okay. Now moving on to the next question. National Safe Motherhood Day. Is observed on National Safe Motherhood Day. If this is something uh, you have to actually remember. There's no way you could, like, you know, guess the answer. And the right answer to this question is, in fact, 11th April. 
Yes, that's right. Sheshank, you got it right. The right answer to this question is 11th April. Okay. 11th April is observed as National Safe Motherhood Day. Okay. Moving on to the next question. Recently, which of the following courts has ordered that a surrogate mother and her husband have no right over their child? Recently, it's a rather controversial one, right? The question is, which of the following mothers has ordered that a surrogate mother and her husband have no right over child? As you should be knowing, uh, a surrogate mother is, is a woman who... Uh, who uh, takes uh, like who is basically impregnated artificial uh, those who cannot be impregnated like certain women who who can't who are not able to handle pregnancy right so uh, so they basically they hire someone else right they hire someone else to carry to bear their child and deliver the child right so recently it is, the answer is in fact Delhi High Court yes Delhi High Court has ordered that who, uh, if a surrogate, when a, after a surrogate woman has given birth to a child, right, she has no right over the child, right? Because uh, there have been cases in which uh, when a couple actually accepts money and like you know goes through this entire process and after giving birth they develop uh, affection over the child and they uh, like you know they do they refuse to return it, claiming claiming it to be their own. Court has in fact uh, it's a landmark judgment there's uh, in which they said that surrogate mother and her husband will not have no right whatsoever over the chain. Okay. No. Let's move on to the next question. Yes, so the so right answer is C. Okay. Rico Innovations Corporation, RAC, has launched a mobile visual search platform called as Rico Innovations Corporation, RAC, has launched a mobile visual search platform called as Let's see how many can answer this. It's basically a visual search platform. Okay. In fact, this is one of those questions uh, that can be answered uh, using common sense. If you look at the, uh, okay, it could face page, my face, Insta search, I mean, they look like, uh, you know, made up names, right? But when you look at Occutag, right? Ocu, ocular means something related to the eye, right? Ocu, ocular means something related to the eye. Now, the question is it's a mobile visual search platform right so basically what it does is now you uh, you install this app and you uh, focus it on an image right it will uh, let's say uh, you want to watch it like you you focus this uh, your ca mobile f uh, phone camera against a cinema poster it will straight away show information about the movie in which theater is a mo is a movie running on etc okay so it's it's one of it's it's like uh, it is it has been much talked about recently right it's a uh, zerub an indian based company right the answer is occupy okay okay let's move on to the next question now Which of the following courts has recommended the Union Government of India to constitute a statutory regulatory body to control electronic media? I repeat, which of the following courts has recommended the Union Government of India to constitute a statutory regulatory body to control electronic media? So basically, uh, this court has recommended the Union Government to come up with a body, uh, 
the committee or body rather to control uh, what's there on the electronic media because as you know the rate at which information spreads on uh, on the internet it spreads like wildfire right so they were looking for some sort of regulatory body to control what i mean argue argue as they are trying to uh, this law is draconian in the sense it, it curbs personal liberty everyone has to live as a good it, it might be uh, because this could be again misused right this could be misused to actually put some uh, put all those people who speak against government in jail right anyway so the right answer to this question is yes high okay the right answer to this question is a the high court of delhi let's move to the next question which of the following states has decided to declare malkam as a state sport which of the following states has decided to declare malkam as a state sport okay is it uh, rajasthan is it punjab is it haryana is it madhya pradesh malkam or sans rather sanskrit it was to be mallakam it's a, it's a sport uh, it's something similar to gymnastics uh, where basically uh, people align themselves like a pole that's why that's why it is called khamb khamb means pole in sanskrit right okay so the state government which is uh, decided to declare uh, this as a state sport is madhya pradesh in fact that's it most of you got it right taran ujwal all of you have got the question right the right answer to this question is madhya pradesh mp okay let's see how many can answer this ugadi festival is related with the which are the following states which state among the following celebrates the festival ugadi which of the following states yes that the said right, the right answer is andhra pradesh in fact uh, ugadi is a uh, corrupted form of ugadi yug plus adi the beginning of a new year so it's it's basically telugu new year day okay so the right answer to this question is ap andhra pradesh okay now let's move on to the last question now let's see who can answer this the national committee yes exact the try right, session on the occasion of this festival on the occasion of ugadi only that amma hasan uh, project was uh, launched okay now let's come to the last question the national committee on direct benefit transfer uh, you all might have heard about this thing direct benefit transfer this is basically uh, one of the schemes proposed by uh, the current upa government to eliminate uh, uh, to eliminate loss of money and resources by middlemen right they they would like to have the money reach the poor people directly instead of having to go through various channels right so it's also known as dp it's called uh, direct benefit trans- direct benefit transfers it's uh, again it's a bit controversial in the sense there's a lot of opposition about this thing being this is this is almost like a soft given by the government in light of the upcoming elections right so the question is which uh, which among the following is the uh, as actually uh, as chaired this committee is yes, the right answer is in fact political right answer prime minister okay so uh, that's it for today uh, i hope you guys have learned something today in fact and i really appreciate the fact that everyone almost everyone has participated in the session has actively participated more than actively participated they you actually asked a lot of queries even and and i'm really positively surprised to see that like you know most of the answers you given are right very few times have you answered it wrong right 
and I'm I'm really happy that I could be of some help. Okay, uh, if you would like to contact the other participants, like for that, uh, the, the query from certain uh, one person here, here, is there any way you could contact the other participants? Yes, there is. For that, the rights have to be enabled. Probably uh, I will discuss about this thing and from from then we could do this so that like you know uh, even students could coordinate with each other, right? So uh, that's it. Well, that's the that's the uh, that would be the last question I'll be discussing today. Okay.